my name is Nicola Pallett. I'm a lecturer in the Center for Innovation and Learning and Teaching at UCT. And I finished my PhD last year in Media Studies. Um, my topic was uh, Children's Digital Gaming in Two, set two Settings in Cape Town. Um, prior to that, I did an undergraduate degree um, majoring in interactive media production. And following that, um, my postgraduate studies in media. My first computer game was back in the days of DOS. <laughs> um, I think it's probably Alley Cat. Uh, Alley Cat was my first memory of a game that I played. But I grew up watching my mom play games. Uh, my mom used to play Prince of Persia, Leisure Sweet Larry. And my mom was my um, first gaming partner. And then coming to Varsity again, I think interactive media was the first time I sort of made contact with games again because we had a project where we had to design parts of a game uh, as a trial for this uh, computer science student's um, game engine. Our, our game was the Body Snatchers and some of my class, you know, where it was a group project, some of my classmates uh, went to medical school and sneakily took some photos. Um, and I, I remember I had to make m my sort of model thing, the thing that I had to do was a person hanging from a rope. <laughs> for, for me, how I relate to gender in games is, you know, as, as a female viewer and recognizing that a lot of the sort of Popular games are actually um, designed for the pleasures of men, it's for a male audience. Uh, I sort of struggle to connect with some of the characters, although I do like them. I mean, one of my favorite characters is um, Poison Ivy, I mean, Ivy from Soul Calibur. Um, and she's got this, you know, purple, basically swimsuit, very big boobs, and a whip, <laughs> which I found, I find interesting because it's that sort of powerful character dynamic, but also the um, you know, the awareness that it's a, it's a woman being objectified. But I think there's a lot of potential for games coming out now. We're finally seeing you know, different kinds of women in games, which I'm really glad about, as well as different sexualities. Anyone can have an online identity in some form, even if it's just on Facebook, um, or mix it, or something like that. And um, I think it's not just middle class anymore. Whereas gaming is still very much a middle class um, sort of uh, leisurely practice, um, social media is now more widely um, sort of embedded in our culture. In many instances, you become the content that you publish. So, mm -hmm. my um, I think my background in interactive media has helped me uh, become you know, who I am today and my interest in technology. I think that the, the program also gave me a particular sort of confidence with digital um, media. All I had before I started my interactive media um, uh, the program was an email address. I think it helped me to um, have an experimental attitude towards technology and also um, making people like lecturers aware of um, what's involved in um, technology sort of integration and it's not just about the technical uh, side the technology but also the social side so that's something that I aspire to is balancing the social with the technological